Do you find it hard to organize all your files in Premiere Pro and you know you should set it up with raw footage, audio, exports, Premiere files, etc, etc, etc. You know you should do that, but you're lazy and you don't, like me. Well, I've got something for you. With the help of ChatGBT, I have written a code that will do just that for you. Now, if you want to see how I made the code and how you can tweak it down the line, you can do that, but I will just show you the code and I'll put it in the description so you can run it yourself. So, we just go to my desktop real quick, ignore the mess, and right here is the code. So, you just run it, it opens a little box saying enter for videography files directory, say I want to make a project called car sales. First thing I thought of, and it will now open up in my active 16K productions, which is my production company, in our active files, the car sales files. So it will have project files, all the After Effects files. It will even make a Premiere Pro file for you. Uh, you've got your raw footage, audio files, music, SFX, graphics, and finally exported videos. Now, just to show you that this is exactly what it does, let's do it again. So, people pleaser, sure. And open it again. People pleaser, raw footage, Premiere files, with the blank Premiere Pro file, etc., etc., etc. Now, the actual code is in the description. Um, the only thing you'll need to change is the path directory, but that's pretty simple, and you'll need Python installed. But beyond that, go ahead. Now, for those of you who want to learn how I actually made this, uh, and how you can tweak it yourself, let's jump over to a ChatGPT. So, once we are in ChatGPT, all you have to do, well, not all you have to do, it might come out slightly different, because it is an AI after all. They're not that predictable. So all you have to do is type, write me code that creates a videographer file structure. It's so hard to type and talk at the same time. While I create this code, real sorry that I'm a sweaty boy. I'm in a garage and it's really hot. Cool. So here we have the base of the code. It creates as a, a directory. So where we want to put the files, it creates the folders, edits, exports, and graphics. I'm going to change those because I don't really like those and I'm gonna direct it where to actually put the files. So first up, I would like the files to go to, and then all you have to do is go to where you want the files done. So I want it exactly here in my Z drive in my active 16K productions folder. So copy that and place that where you want to go. So put the files there and also say, I want the folders to be called one underscore Adobe files, two underscore raw footage, three underscore audio, four underscore graphics, and five underscore exports. I put the numbers in before the file names so that the files always appear in the order of most convenience. Okay, so this is the updated code. Uh, it looks like this will create an Active 16K Productions file, but I wanted to put it in that. We can fix that later. But to start with, in Adobe Files, create a blank, Premiere Pro project. So now it will create the blank Premiere Pro project. If you can see, this is how you will build up your code because you'll never get it perfect. Like there's a minuscule chance that you'll be able to say one thing and it comes out with the exact code you want. So I just like to build it up slightly. So, you know, you can change files, you can change where you want it. You can change exactly what's in everything. Now that is done. We want to change it so that it won't make a file called Active 16K Productions. It will place it in the file called acting 16k productions i want the structure to be placed within active 16k productions not as active 16k productions so now it is making the code where it would be placed in active 16k productions but the most important part of this code is to get it to ask me what I want the main file to be called. I would like an option when running this code to be able to name the main file that the subfolders are in. And finally, the last thing that I forgot, within the audio file, I wanna create two subfolders, music and sound effects. So, very easy. Within the subfolder audio, create two additional folders called music and SFX. Cool. 
So now that that code is completely generated, what you want to do, you want to copy all of the code into Notepad and then save it as a .py file, which is Python. So make sure you have Python installed. Copy the code, open up Notepad. I'll bring it over here and just paste the code. Then what you want to do is you want to save as, and I have a, a folder called codes. So it's pretty simple to get to. So just call it um, videographer code for YouTube. Because I already made one. Dot .py. That is the important part. The dot .py, otherwise it will not work. So save that. If everything was done perfectly, when we run this code, it should build us new files. So run the code. What do I want to call it? For YouTube. And that's right. I forgot to put the part in the code that says open up the, the file. But just to see if it has for YouTube. Adobe files with Premiere, raw footage, audio, graphics, exports. We've got everything. Just one thing, I didn't put in the After Effects files that I had in mine, but that's because you probably won't use After Effects as much. Maybe. I don't know what your work is. Um, if you do, I have given you the tools to figure it out. It's pretty simple once you get these sort of basic um, lo logistic things down. Now, one thing with the code, I didn't say open up the file structure like in my other code, so I'm just going to add that. Uh, can you also open up the main file once the code has completed? All you have to do is copy this new code, bring in your videographer code for YouTube, make sure you open it with Notepad and just replace it all with the new code, save it and run it. P, P, poo, poo. And perfect, it now opens. Pee pee poo poo is now opened. And that is the entire code. Um, just create a desktop shortcut, bring it to your desktop, and you are good to go. That is the video. Um, it's good to be back. I know it's been a while since I've actually uploaded anything. Um, actually, how long has it been? It's been eight months. Okay, I didn't think it was that long. Um, it's good to be back. Uh, I'm a little bit rusty, so I hope you like the video. If you have any other sort of suggestions, wants that you want to see me use ChatGPT for to increase your workflow in Premiere Pro, because trust me, that is like one of the things you can do. Uh, it's the most helpful thing for me because I'm a lazy piece of shit. Um, but there is so much you can do with ChatGPT. So if you want me to explore that more with you guys, let me know and I will do that. And hopefully it is not eight more months till you see me next. Bye. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. What was that? Christ, that was like my old fucking 2014 Let's Play days. What's happening guys, Chimichanga here and welcome back to Minecraft. What's happening guys, Chimichanga here and today I decided to start a new Minecraft series because of our Minecraft friendship series.